everybody. Today I will show you how to run a uh, Power Shell script. And the first thing you want to do is open up Notepad. So you could find it under Search Notepad, like right there, and you just type in some of the commands. So write host is kind of like print line for C++ or print for basic. It's how you output stuff on the computer screen. And read host is like read line it's to uh, get inputs that the user can input. So I'm going to make a power script file. So I'm going to call it hello world dot ps1 and it has to be saved under all files and now I created a power shell script file there's another way you could do it you can use um, a powershell ISE to create a um, power shell um, file as well script file as well you can do the same thing just going to copy all that and paste it in there like so and I'm going to save it so I just ran the file in that program so as you can see I ran it so this is a good thing about this program you could run it you could run your programs before you create the power shell uh, script so now I'm going to save it in the same folder and I'm going to call it hello world 2.ps1 and then save it and I'm going to exit out of there and I'm going to run it in a PowerShell um, PowerShell command prompt so I'm going to run it under PowerShell x86 I'm going to change the resolution a little so you can see it better. I'm going to make. But you have to run it under administration. Administrator, sorry. Or it's not going to work. So now I'm going to make this more visible. The text bigger and everything so you can see it. Okay, now I'm going to run it. Before you run it, you have to. Uh, give it permission so you have to put set execution policy remote sign I'll put all this in the video description so you can find it you just, all you do is you just copy it and paste it or type it all in either way is fine but I'm just gonna copy it and paste it I'm gonna do control C to copy it and control V to paste it just use and you have to put all yes to all so a now I could run power my power scripts files. So I'm gonna go to D drive test. That's where my that's where the files I created were. Whoops, I typed in the wrong command. So okay, now I'm in a D drive. So um, the way to run it is you have to put the and sign and the path where where the file is at. So it's and parentheses d test hello world ps1. That's where one of the files are at. I'm going to test both. So it's running it. Okay. And now I'm going to run the second file and see if that works as well. It's at d drive test hello world 2.ps1. So that's what it is. I ran that too. Okay, good. It works. Okay, now I'm going to exit out of here. And I'm going to show you something else. Um, I'm going to show you how to do inputs and outputs of stuff using uh, PowerShell ISE. So I'm going to create a simple program which allows you to enter your name and your age and input it on the screen whatever you typed in so that's the 
syntax for the code. So read host is to retrieve data from the user. Just like that. And age, I'm going to put age. Read host. Prompt. The, the good thing about this thing is it lets you know if you made a mistake. So, so the code that I wrote above is perfect because there's no uh, red things, you know, red lines, red sine wave lines or whatever, wavy lines that show that I made a mistake. So your name is name, that's what's going to be outputted, and your age is uh, dollar sign age. I made a mistake here. I I put a parenthesis in name. You're not supposed to do that in dollar sign name. It's the single parenthesis that you have to put in. That's why it's giving me that error. So this isn't going to run if I if I try to run it. See, now I found the error. Now this is going to run. So I'm going to run it. What is your name? Ace 1000 KS 1975. My age 44. Your name is Ace 1000 KS 1975 and your age is 44. Okay. That ran. Now I'm going to save it as a PowerScript uh, file. So I'm going to name it um, inputs and outputs dot ps1 and save it. So now I could run this script in a PowerShell command prompt, which I'm going to do right now. and run it under administrator of course but you could put this on your desktop if you want which I'm going to show you right now I'm going to put it on my desktop so I don't have to keep doing this so now it's on my desktop and I can just run it which is a lot more convenient run it as administrator I keep forgetting that change the display so I can read it better I'm going to go to test uh, folder and first I'm going to type in that uh, set execution policy, copy that and paste it on there. So I could use uh, run PowerShell scripts. Okay. So now I'm going to go to D drive test and I'm going to test out that script that I just made. So it's uh, and the path of the file what is your name ace I'm gonna make up an age 100 no 50 your name is ace and your age is 50 okay I created that simple program it worked okay thanks for watching